I'm taking a rectangle. <clears throat> I'm also taking a parallelogram. ABCD is a rectangle and ABEF is a parallelogram. <coughs> See there. ABCD is a rectangle, ABEF is a parallelogram. It is in such a manner that both rectangle and a parallelogram have the same. Base. Yes, I know. Both rectangle and parallelogram have the same base. And both of them are in between the same parallels. Yes, I know. Both rectangle and a parallelogram have the same parallels. They are in between the same parallel lines, means their height is same. And their base is also same. Therefore, if a rectangle and a parallelogram have the same base and the same height, then what are their areas? Areas are also same. So area of ABCD is equals to area of ABEF. So area of ABCD is equals to area of ABEF. Supposing the same thing. I'll take a rectangle. I'll take a triangle. Triangle may not be here. It can be anywhere. But I'm taking them in such a manner that their bases are same and they are in between the same parallels a b c d let it be e1 e2 e3 area of triangle a b e1 is same as a b e2 and so on it is actually half of area of ABCD. Why it is half of ABCD? Because what is the area of a rectangle? Base into height. What is the area of a triangle? Half into base into height. So area of triangle is half of area of a rectangle. If I take a rectangle, a parallelogram, And a triangle. A, B, C, D. A, B, E, F. Let it be G. Right? Area of A, B, C, D. Is equals to area of AB EF. It is actually two times the area of ABG. Let the rectangle area be R, parallelogram be P, triangle is T. R is equals to P is equals to two times of triangle. Triangle is equals to half of rectangle, or else triangle is equals to half of parallelogram. You understand? Area of rectangle and parallelogram are equal. Fine. Triangle area is what? Half of parallelogram or rectangle. Say the region here. 
you take any point inside a triangle and join them with all the vertices. Right. I'm just sharing this area. Okay, let's take like this. This area I'm shading, right? So I'm asking you, what is the shaded area to the unshaded area? What is the area of the shaded one? And what is the area of unshaded one? Is actually equal. Area of the shaded region is equals to what area of unshaded region? Why? Because just cut it into two rectangles like this. Look at the smaller rectangles and bigger rectangle. Okay. So we know that the shaded region is half of the area of rectangle, which means shaded area is equals to unshaded area. The first one also shaded region is equals to unshaded. Second one also smaller rectangle. It is a triangle inside a rectangle, therefore shaded is unshaded. So in, if even if you combine shaded region is equals to what? Shaded area is equals to unshaded area. Area of shared region is equals to area of unshared region. Okay, then. A triangle. A square is inscribed. Base of the triangle is B. Height of the triangle is H. Let's take it. Side of a square is A. Can you tell me what is this height? H minus A. Yes or no? The entire thing is H and this is A. This is H minus A. What is the area of the entire triangle? Half into base into height is equals to. There is a trapezium plus the smaller triangle. Right? What is the area of the trapezium? What is the area of the trapezium? Half into Distance between the parallel sides. See, this one is a trapezium now. This one is B. This is A. The distance between these two sides is? Can I say so? Distance between the parallel sides is A. And sum of parallel sides is? Plus what? The smaller triangle is? Base is A. Height is first one larger triangle trapezium smaller triangle half BH half 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 cancel anyway BH is equals to a square plus AB, AH, 
I need what is A. Therefore, what is A is equals to. B H by H. You understand? Whatever the triangle it may be. Triangle may be an isosceles, a right angle triangle, whatever the triangle it may be. So when a square is inscribed in a triangle, what is the side of a square? B H by B plus H. Copy that. Give me the answer for that. That's 33rd question in Concepts of Automatic, page number 270. In the given figure, in a right angle triangle ABC, AB is equal to 12, AC is equal to 15. A is a square inscribed in a triangle. One of the vertices of square coincide with the vertex of the triangle. So what is the maximum possible area of a square? First of all, can you tell me what is the side of a square? <clears throat> if AB is 12, AC is 15, 3 5s are, 3 4s are, therefore 3 3s are. What is the base? Height, side of square. Base into height by blaze plus three, three is a three seven is a area side square one two nine six divided by what forty nine. Copy that. What is the formula I'm using? Side is equals to BH by B plus H. The shaded region is what part of the entire square? We are assuming the side of a square as 4. Therefore, area of the square becomes 16. Find out the three triangles area. Okay. Look at the triangle there. It is half into base into height. All the three triangles are right angle triangles. Half into 2 into 4 is 4. Half into 2 into 4 is 4. Half into 2 into 2 is 2. So out of 16, the three <coughs> triangle regions are what? The three triangular regions are simply 4, 4, 2. So out of 16, you take out 10. The shaded region is 6. So I'm asking you, the shaded region is what part of the square? It is 6 out of 16. It is 6 out of 16 means 3 by 8. Look at 19th one. If ABCD is a rectangle, E and F are the midpoints of BC and AD respectively, and G is any point of EF, any point on EF, then actually triangle GAB is equals to what? First he's saying ABCD is a rectangle. E and F are G is any point on this, it can be here, or else it can be here, it doesn't matter. First of all, area of ABEF is, this is a midpoint, I can say it is half of what? Area of AGB is half of ABEF. So ABF is half of ABC. Therefore, it is what part? One fourth of it is half of half. Therefore, it is one fourth of ABC. Copy that. <coughs> if in a parallelogram ABCD, there is a point to 
then the area of AOB plus COD is equals to the area of, if you look at this, now you take this. There is a point inside. A, B, C, D. The point is O. So it's asking you A, O, B plus C, O, D. If it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 plus 3 is equals to what? 2 plus 4 because shaded is equals to unshaded. Therefore, area of A, O, B area of COD is equals to area of BOC plus area of AOD. Is that clear? Area of 1 plus 3 is equals to area of 2 plus 4. What is 2? BOC. 4 is AOD. So AOD plus what? BOC. So answer is C. Copy that. If in a triangle ABC, the bisectors of angle B and C intersect at O, which one of the following statement is correct? Two internal angular bisectors means what is the angle formed at the center? Can I say it is 90 plus A by 2? If two internal angular bisectors mean what is the angle formed at the center? 90 plus A by 2. Two external, 90 minus A by 2. One internal, one external, A by 2. So this is related to triangles. The length of a side of a rhombus is 5 meters and one of its diagonals of length 8 meters than the length of the other diagonal. You remember the re relation between the diagonals and the side. D1 square plus D2 square of a rhombus is equals to 4A square. D1 square is 8 square, 64 plus D2 square, 4 into 25. Therefore, D2 square is equals to 100 minus 64, 36. D2 is equals to what? Right angle triangle also works. The moment you see this is 5, half of the diagonal is 4. Therefore, this is 3. So, 3 plus 3 is 6. That also fine. ABCD is a trapezium in which AB and CD are the parallels and the diagonals intersect at O. If OA into CD is equals to M into OC into AB. I'll take up trapezium. Take two diagonals. What are the parallels? AB, DC. Can you tell me the similarity in this? What is the similarity of triangles? Triangle A, O, B, similar to triangle? You can say O, A, Y, O, C, or C, O, doesn't matter. A, B, by C, D. Cross multiply both of them. OA into CD is equals to what? OC into? So what is M here? It is just one only. That's what it says, right? OA into CD is equals to what? M into OC into AB. M is just one. The length of the diagonal BD of the parallelogram ABCD is 18 centimeters. P, Q are the centroids of the triangle A, B, C and A, D, C. See here, this is a parallelogram. A, B, C, D. The diagonal is given as how much it is? 18. 
we know it's divides it into two equal parts which means it is 9 and 9 p and q are the centroids of abc and ab sorry adc it is a centroid if it is a centroid centroid divides g1 g2 centroid divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1 2 is to 1 means it is 6 and 3 this is 3 and 6 therefore what is the distance between centroids? Centroids are what he said, P and Q. So what is the distance between P and Q? PQ equal to six centimeters. Because the diagonal is divided into two parts, that is nine and nine. Right, this length is nine, that length is nine. So P and Q are the centroids of the respective triangles. So centroid divides the median in what ratio? Three, two is to one. So it is six, it is three, it is six, it is three, right? So what is the distance between P and Q? It is six. ABCD is a cyclic trapezium. So these are from type two. ABCD is a cyclic trapezium whose AD and BC sides are mutually parallel. If B, D, B, C, D is 72, then what will be the value of B, A, D? Cyclic trapezium means opposite also, opposite angles are supplementary, okay? A, B, C, D. See, A, D is what? Parallel to B, C. So take like this, A, B, C, D. A, D is parallel to what here? B, C. And B, C, D is how much? What is BA? D. Cyclic quadrilateral opposite angle sum is how much? 180. So if it is theta in cyclic quadrilateral, theta plus 72 is equal to 180. Theta equal to 108. The simple property cyclic quadrilateral is what? Opposite angles is supplementary. Opposite angles are supplementary. So sum of opposite angles is 180. Inside a square ABCD, triangle BEC is an equilateral triangle. If CE and BD intersect at O, then the angle BOC is equal to, first ABCD you take a square. You draw an equilateral triangle in it. Don't draw it like this. This will not be an equilateral. Understood? Equilateral is somewhere like this. Of the point. This is what? First A, B, C, D. Then after, B, E, C is an equilateral triangle. Okay. I'll take A, B, C. D, B, C is equilateral triangle. He says B, D intersect, C, E and B, D intersect at O. C, E and B, D. So draw B, D completely. At what point they intersect? They intersect at O. B, O, C is asking. Now you tell me. Can I say this is 60 degrees? Because it's all equilateral triangle. What is the diagonal of a square? Divides the angle into two equal parts, 45 and 45. Therefore, what is BOC? Angle BOC is equal to 180 minus 60 plus 75. An equilateral triangle TQR is drawn inside a square of TQRS. What is the value of PTS in terms of degrees? Same thing, I'll take it. So TQR, okay, PTS, TQR. QR is the base here. So let it be P, Q, R, S. And this one is 
QT or TQ or understood? He's asking you what is PTS. So PTS means this angle, this angle, right? Now we know this one is, this one is, let it be theta, right? If it is 60 degrees, this becomes 30. Therefore, can I say x degrees and x degrees because it's an isosceles triangle? Because it is also side A only, this is also side A only. x and x means what is 2x is equal to? So this one is also what? Same x because same 30 here. Okay, it is symmetrical. Therefore, theta plus 2x plus 60 is equal to 360. 300 minus 2x. So what is an angle there? So PTS is 150. I'm telling you once again, see there. We know it is an equilateral triangle that is QTR. Okay, QTR is an equilateral triangle, therefore angle is 60, 60, 60. Right? Equilateral triangle means the side of a square and this one is also same. A, A, A and A. And this becomes an isosceles triangle. I know one angle is 30 because it is 60 means rest of the angle is 30. These two angles are 75, 75. Why 75, 75? Because 180 minus 30, 150. 150 you divide it into two equal parts. This is 75. This is also 75. Therefore, if you look at here, it is 75, 75, 60. Remaining is how much? 150. Because it completes an angle. What is the complete angle? 360. Any doubt here? The only confusing part is this is an isosceles triangle. That is very important. ABCD is a trapezium such that AB is equal to CD. And AD is parallel to what? BC. So AD is parallel to BC means how you have to draw. Name them accordingly. A, B, C, D. This is A, D is parallel to what? B, C. Such that A, B is equals to C, D. What kind of a triangle it is? What kind of a trapezium it is? Isosceles trapezium. And A, D is how much? 5. B, C is how much? 9. The area of A, B, C, D is how much? 35. Then what is C, D? So can I find out the height? Half into height into sum of parallel sides is 14. So what is the height? Height is 5. Now see here, if I take it, it is symmetrical. Height is 5 means. This one is also, we know that it is 5, 5, 5. Out of 9, if I 5 goes out, how much is left out? 4. This 4, you divide it 2 here and 2 here. And he's asking you CD. CD is equals to under root of 5 square plus 2 square. It is root of 29. Why am I dividing it into two equal parts here? Because it's what kind of a triangle? Sorry, what kind of a trapezium? Isosceles trapezium. Here angle and here. Both of them are same. So CD is what? CD is equals to under root of 5 square plus 2 square. How am I finding height? I'm finding the height by using the area of the trapezium formula. What is the area of trapezium formula? Half into height into sum of parallel sides. Height, I got it as 5. So draw the height. You know it is uh, perpendicular line, so that is 5 means base is also 5. Out of 9, if I take out 5, how much is left out? 4 is left out. That 4, I am dividing equally into 2 parts. 2 here, 2 there. So I got base and, base and height. So you can find out the third side. Is that clear? Copy that. Start circles. What do you know about a circle? Anything that you know about a circle? And what do you mean by a circle? How do you define a circle? 
apart from saying it is a round figure. See, circle is a locus of all the points which are fixed distance from a fixed point. If you join all the points which are fixed distance from a fixed point, if you join all of them, then what you will get? You will get a circle. That fixed point is called center of the circle. That fixed distance is called the radius of the circle. If you join any two points on the circle, any two points on the circle you join, it is called chord of a circle. If a line simply touches the circle, what is it called? It is called a tangent. A line just touches the circle, it is called tangent. A line which cuts the circle called secant. Okay. Line which touches the circle called tangent. A line which cuts the circle called secant. A line which joins two points on the circle is called chord. What is the longest chord of a circle? Longest chord of a circle is diameter. If you draw this point is called a point of contact. If you draw from a point, center point to a point of contact, it will always be perpendicular to what? Tangent. The line drawn from a center to the point of contact, it is always perpendicular to the tangent. And what is area of a circle? What is area of a circle? Pi r square. What is circumference of a circle? Center, radius, OP is radius, PQ is diameter, AB is Chord. What about this? Secant. What about this? Tangent. This point is called point of contact. Now See, if you cut a circle by using from a center, if you cut a circle from the center, you call it as sector of a circle. You cut a circle by using a chord of a circle. It is called segment. You cut a circle by using two points. It is called arc. What is it? This is sector. Understand the sector, segment, and arc. Sector is like a piece of pizza. Segment is by using a okay curve. Arc is like a broken piece of a bangle. Sector and segment have the area, while whereas arc is only having length. You cannot find out area of arc. Arc is just a length. It doesn't possess any area. Understood? See here, what is the value of pi? Circumference is 2 pi r, area is pi r square. We usually use the value of pi is 22 by 7. Substitute 22 by 7. I'll just take r as 7. 22 by 7, I'll take r as 7. Tell me what is the circumference? 44. What is the area? 154. 
Agree? Now see here. Radius, circumference, area. If it is 7, how much it is? 44. If it is 7 by 2, 22, it is by 4, 38.5 or 77 by 2. If it is double, 88, it becomes 4 times. Understood? If it becomes 3 times, can you tell me 3 times? 21. This also becomes 3 times, 132. Area becomes 9 times. Can anyone tell me what is 154 into 9? 4 nines are 36. 4 fives are 45. 9 fives are 45. 45 plus 3, 48, 4. 9 ones are 9. 9 plus 4 is? Suppose it becomes 21 by 2. This becomes by 2, 66. This becomes by 4. That is 3, 46.5. Right. So these are the circumferences and areas you must remember. Okay. First, the moment I give you 44, area is 154. What is the radius? 7. First, 7, 14, 7 by 2. What is 7, 14, 7 by 2? 44. Okay. If you do 14 means it becomes 88. Okay. If it is 7 by 2 means it becomes 22. You need to know perimeters and area. What is the area becomes? 154. If you, radius is double, if radius becomes 14, area becomes 616. Okay. If radius is half, area becomes 38.5. Understood? Okay. If radius is triple, 21, area becomes 9 times. That is 1386. If radius becomes 1.5 times, perimeter also becomes 1.5 times, that is 66, but area becomes 2.25 times, that is 346.5. If area is 3, okay, 346.5, area of a circle is 346.5. What is the perimeter or circumference? 66. What is the radius? 21 by 2. Should be immediate. 616, radius is 14, perimeter is 88. Perimeter is 22. What is the radius? 7 by 2. Understood? Perimeter is 132. What is the area? 1386. Or else you can say radius is 21. At least for 7, 7 by 2, 14 and 21, 21 by 2. These 5, you should know all of them. Radius you should know. You should know perimeter under in the, in the sense circumference and area. If I give you area, you should be able to tell me circumference and Radius. If I give you radius, you should be able to tell me circumference and area. If I give you a okay, circumference, area and radius. All things you should know without any calculation because you, I want you to remember them. If possible, more and more you add to this. Okay? But remember them. Okay? Suppose if the perimeter is, sorry, if the radius is 70, add another 0. 440, add two zeros. Understood? Now, if it becomes 140, 880, like this. It is always in the proportion. Please copy them. Taking a circle. So I'm dividing the circle into different parts. Look at the red region. Red region is what part of a circle? It is half. Half 
how can i say it is half because it is 180 degrees it is a semi circle half of the circle what is the full circle area what is the area of circle we have seen the area of circle is pi r square and the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r first one area is it is 180 degrees the total circle is how much 360 into what pi r square it is half of look at the length of arc length of arc means up to here to here this length i want to find out the complete circumference of a circle is what the complete circumference of a circle is 2 pi r it is only half of the circle therefore half into 2 pi r i am not cancelling that 2 let it be 2 pi r by what what is the perimeter there is a difference between perimeter and length of arc what is the difference see if i ask you length of arc it is only this if i ask you perimeter you just join this you understand the reason perimeter means complete so how much you need to add extra here radius here radius radius plus radius is two radius so there is two radius extra plus length of arc so it is two times of radius plus length of arc what is length of arc there 2 pi r by Look at the second one. Can you tell me second one is how many degrees here? It is ninety degrees. So area is ninety is what part of three sixty? Can I say it is one fourth? So what is the area? Area is also one fourth of circle area, right? What is length of arc? 2 pi r by what? 4. What is perimeter? It's 2 r plus 2 pi r by 4. Third one. If you don't know the angle, let it be theta. Can you tell me for theta, what is the area? Area is equals to theta by 360 into what? pi r square right yeah. length of arc theta by 360 into what 2 pi r perimeter 2 r plus length of arc what is length of arc theta by 360 into 2 pi r if this theta is 180 it becomes half if theta is becomes 90 it becomes 1 by 4 if theta becomes 60 It is one sixth of a circle. If theta is thirty, it is one by twelfth of a area of circle, and one by twelfth of circumference of a circle becomes the length of arc. If you want perimeter, you add two r's. Why two r's? Because r plus r plus length of arc. That is the perimeter. You understand the difference between length of arc and perimeter? Length of arc is only this, but perimeter is the entire. Divide area by length of arc. What do you get? Area by length of arc. Theta by three sixty. Theta by three sixty cancel. Theta by three sixty. Theta by three sixty cancel. Pi r pi r cancel. So in the numerator, what will be left out? R. In the denominator, it's two. So what is the area when length of arc and radius given? Area is equals to length of arc into Radius by. Two. So, what is the area? Length of arc into radius by two. Suppose.
what is it the area of a sector of a circle of radius 5 cm formed by an arc length of 3.5 what is radius given 5 and what is the length of arc he says 3.5 now he is asking you what area area is equals to length of arc into radius by 3.5 into 5 by 2 and i say 3.5 into 5 by 2 is 2.5 so what is 3.5 into 2.5 8.75 cm same by i'm using the formula okay length of arc into radius by 2 when you are multiplying two numbers which especially ends with 5 whose difference is 10 15 into 25 25 into 35 35 into 45 55 into 65 85 into 95 suppose concentrate on the number between them okay what is the number between 15 and 25 middle number 20 so can i write it as 20 minus 5 and 20 plus 5 what is 20 square 400 minus 25 what is 400 minus 25 375 75 is common out of 400 you subtract one it is 300 in between 30 30 square is 900 9 minus 18 75 is common because 900 minus 25 i'm writing it as how 30 minus 5 30 plus 5 in mind it is 925 how much it is 875 should happen immediately 1600 therefore 1575 3600 it is 3575 8100 8075 what is the formula i am using a plus b into a minus b that is a square minus b square so whenever you are multiplying two numbers which ends with 5 whose difference is 10 Like fifteen into twenty-five, twenty-five into thirty-five, thirty-five into forty-five, forty-five into fifty-five. You should know it immediately, right? So here our answer depends on the multiplication as well. Twenty-five into thirty-five is eight seventy-five. So two point five into three point five is how much? Eight point seven five, right? Copy them. If if you take out a segment, okay. Segment area is equals to find out the area of the whole sector. From that you subtract the area of triangle, right? Area of sector is what theta by three sixty into pi r square, right? And what is the area of a triangle? When two sides and an angle between them is given, it is half AB sine theta. Here A and B both of them are radius and radius, therefore it is half r square sine theta. So from the area of sector that is theta by 360 pi r square, you subtract the area of triangle that is half r square sine theta. They'll give you sine theta, or else they'll give you theta. Okay. Now, when three circles are tangent to each other, tangent to each other means when two three circles are touching each other externally, right? What is the area bounded by these three circles? You join the centers of the circle. If you join the centers of the circle, an equilateral triangle is formed. From the equilateral triangle, you need to subtract three sectors, each of which is sixty degrees, sixty degrees, sixty degrees. What is sixty? Sixty sixty becomes one eighty degrees. Which means, from an equilateral triangle area, you need to subtract the area of semicircle. Right? Equilateral triangle area is what root three by four side square. So here side is two r. So root three by four. 2r square is 4r square, so 4 4 cancels. It is root 3 r square minus what is half of the area of a circle? Pi r square by 2. So it is root 3 r square minus pi r square by 2. So if you common r square, it will be root 3 minus pi by 2. If you simplify the value of it, I am giving you simplified value as well. What is it? 0.16 r square. They will give you the radius of the circle is 10. There are three circles tangent to each other. What is the area bounded by them? Radius is 10 means you substitute 10 in this. 0.16 into 100 is 16 centimeter square is the area. 
it is approximate area okay when four circles are touching each other externally okay and what is the area bounded by them means you join the circles centers of the circles you will get a square from okay from that you subtract four sectors four sectors will form a circle so square area of a square minus area of circle square area is 4r square circle area is pi r square r square into 4 minus pi will give you the area but if you simplify 4 minus pi you will get 6 by 7 so in short we'll say it is 6 by 7th of r square okay this is area bounded by four circles which are tangent to each other copy We take a circle chord. Dividing the chord into I'm drawing a perpendicular. From center to the chord. Okay. perpendicular drawn from a center to the chord divides the chord into two equal parts meaning if op is perpendicular to ab then you can say ap is equals to what pb okay so perpendicular drawn from a center to a chord of a circle divides the chord into two equal parts i'll give you when you are writing it i know if suppose you can say it is vice versa vice versa mean if a line divides the chord into two equal parts which are okay a line drawn from the center divides the chord into two equal parts means that line is perpendicular to the chord so there are two things if it is a perpendicular it divides the chord into two equal parts okay if it is dividing it into two equal parts it is perpendicular taking two cards ab is one card cd is another card i'm taking op and oq op and oq are distance from center to the chord okay or distance from center to the chord what is the distance from center to the chord ab it is op what is the distance from center to the chord cd it is oq so distance from center to the chord are op and oq so i'm saying if ab is equals to cd then you can say op is equals to what oq meaning equal chords are always equal distance from the center you can also say vice versa meaning if two chords are equal distance from the center they are equal in length <clears throat> if they are equal chords they are equal distance from the center if they are equal distance from the center they are equal you understand any one of it if you know you can take the other one suppose both of them are how many centimeters away from the center 5 cm 5 cm therefore ab length is equals to cd suppose if it is 10 cm this is also 10 cm then the distance from center to the chord is same op is same as oq understand if you subtend an angle by using a chord
this one is a curve from the end points of this curve we are subtending various angles in a circle here is an angle subtending means we are drawing an angles for all these angles what is the base can i say the base is ab or else the segment which is shaded i'm shading the segment this is the base for all these three angles subtended so i would say angle subtended from the same curve or else from the same segment are equal it is theta then this is also what theta and then this is also what theta understood if the base is same angles are always same and angle subtended at theta sorry at the center if you take the angle subtended at the center this is an angle which is subtended at the center this is rest of it you can take anywhere doesn't matter here also you can take it right so angle subtended at the center is twice the angle subtended at the remaining part of the circle if the remaining part of the circle is theta theta and theta because the same curve ab is the same curve from which you are drawing at the center what is the angle the angle is two times of theta understood the remaining part if it is theta at the center it becomes two theta hope that's clear you know what is an angle in a semi circle what is angle in a semi circle angle drawn inside a semi circle what is this angle or this angle or this angle this is a semi circle half of the circle i'm just asking you what is the angle in a semi circle can you tell me at the center it is how much 180 therefore remaining part it should be what 90 degrees so angle in a semi circle is always what angle in a semi circle is always a right angle okay so if you take you subtend an angle by using a base as a diameter all the angles are what 90 degrees only because at the center it is how much 180 this is acute we'll see how obtuse angle looks like if i take an obtuse angle suppose like this if this angle is theta then what about this angle same thing two theta be it acute angle or obtuse angle see the acute angle looks like this if the angle is less than 90 it looks like this at the center it is two theta even if it is more than 90 if it is theta what is this angle that angle is two theta understood copy this for at the center of it is 2 theta 2 theta and the rest of the angle becomes what there 360 minus 2 theta and if you draw a, okay one more angle here it becomes half of 360 minus 2 theta what is half of 360 minus 2 theta 180 minus theta now look at the theta in 180 minus theta there it becomes supplementary angles supplementary angles means their sum is 180 so in a cyclic quadrilateral sum of opposite angles are what 180 i'll give it as a separate uh, formula but as of now just copy that copy it tell me from an external point how many tangents we can draw from an external point how many tangents we can draw to a circle number of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle there are only two tangents you can draw from an external point to a circle this one one more is this one right 
center to the tangent then center to the tangent we know center to the tangent is always what right angle center to the tangent is right angle draw this line now see here i'll say it is ta this is tb radius radius 90 degrees 90 degrees to is a common side to both so there are two sides and one angle equal what are the two sides and one angle there so obviously two sides and one angle is radius hypotenuse and other side so can i say triangle tao is congruent to triangle tbo understood these two triangles are congruent because the two sides of triangle are same and one more angle is what 90 degrees so obviously the third side will also be same therefore you can say length of tangents drawn from an external points are what equal ta is equals to what if i take this angle as x degrees corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal this angle is also what x degrees what about this angle let it be y this angle is also y so but can i say or else take it as 90 minus x because it is 90 it is x means what about this angle 90 minus x what about this angle 90 minus x is that clear same thing i'll take it but without that ta tb 90 degrees 90 degrees if i take this angle as theta can you tell me what about this angle in a quadrilateral what are sum of angles quadrilateral what are sum of angles 360 out of this 360 this is 90 degrees this one is 90 degrees 360 You subtract 180 degrees. What is the remaining angles? 180. Therefore, out of that 180, if this angle is theta, what is the rest of the angle? 180 minus theta. If I draw a line like this, can you tell me what is an angle here? It is half of at the center. 90 minus theta by. But anyway. what we can observe here if two tangents are drawn atb plus aob are supplementary what is their sum 180 because the other two angles in a quadrilateral are 90 and 90 if these two sum is 180 the other two sum is also 180 because the entire angles in a quadrilateral is how much 360 see don't think two tangents are always so much far away from this point no even if i draw remember always even if i draw two tangents like this what are they can i say two tangents their lengths are always equal from a center if i draw like this the two triangles formed the triangle 1 and triangle 2 are what kind of triangles congruent triangles if it is theta this is also theta if it is x this is also x we know it is anyway 90 degrees 90 degrees distance does not matter you understand that point now i am taking another tangent here let's name them first this is t a b c d okay This is ninety degrees. Now can I say CE and CA? Both of them are equal because from an external point you are drawing two tangents. I would say CE is equals to what? Or EC is equals to CA? DE is equals to DB. Hope you understood that. Now see, I am dividing it into.
can you say one and two congruent three and four are congruent triangles from an external point if you draw one and two is congruent three and four are congruent congruent means their angles are also equal look at the angle here if i take it as x degrees can you tell me what about this x degrees if it is y degrees this is also what y degrees tell me the angle aob what is angle aob angle aob is how much two times of x plus y can you tell me triangle cod x plus y therefore from this i can say angle aob is what two times of angle cod or else angle cod is half of ao right now you tell me the perimeter of tdc i'm taking the same triangle i'm asking you the perimeter of tdc perimeter of tdc what is it can i say it is td plus dc plus ct or tc dc how can i split it de plus dc plus what dc can i write ce is same as ca de is same as db td and tc is same anyway now what is td plus db db what is ca plus tc ca which is both of them are same only therefore two times of that this question has been asked they'll give you the length of the tangent they'll ask you the perimeter of the triangle what is the perimeter of the triangle simply the perimeter of the triangle is two times the length of tangent this property is very very important copy okay.